Within this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about installing the Megascans plugin for Unreal 2.7. Now, you won't need this for version 5 because it's already integrated, so don't worry about it. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and go to the Megascans actual site. So you can go to quixel.com, make that happen. And if you hover over the products button right up here, we can actually go to Bridge. Now, I'm going to be working on a Windows machine, uh, but if you scroll down here a little ways, you can see that it is actually supported for Mac and Linux as well. So there's that. So let's go back up here to the top. So I'm just going to go ahead and say download bridge here. And this will actually download this onto my machine. I can see I've already got it downloaded, so I don't have to worry about that. So I'm going to just cancel. Uh, a couple quick things before we do that and while you're actually waiting for this to download. Um, when you install this, let's go up here to the top of this. It'll leave this page in the link below. There is a Windows and a Macs version of where this is actually going to be, uh, the engine is actually going to be installed, not Quixel. So if you come down here, you can actually figure out where this is going to be. Now you're going to want to know this later, right? So take note of this. So C program files, Epic games, and then the actual version number. Each version of the engine does need to have its own Quixel installed. Um, at version five and up, uh, this shouldn't be a problem. So don't worry about it because it'll be integrated. Um, so we can also come up here and then to the Mac version and come down here below and you can see that it's under users, shared, Epic Games, and then the version number there. So that's good. So we're using 427. So if you don't already have the version of the engine 427, go ahead and grab that. So here inside of my downloads, you can see I've got it ready to go. So I'll just double click on that. Say, hey, do you actually want to install this? And go ahead and say yes, and just have it installed by default. Now I'm going to say no, because I've already got it installed. But while you're waiting for it to install, let's talk about the next step. So let's get rid of that part of it. And inside of Quixel bridge. This is what it's going to look like. So from here, we want to set it up so that a it's using your account. So you'll want to sign in up here at the very top. You can see I'm already signed in and ready to go. Just go ahead and just sign in using your regular Epic account and you'll be able to use all this stuff. So next we want to say where we actually want to export these pieces to because we want them to go to a specific version of the engine and a very specific project that we're using. So the two things that we need to set up next. So we're going to go up into our edit up here in the very top left. Come down here to export settings I'm going to click on that. You will be greeted with this window over here on the right hand side. And we're going to say export target Unreal Engine, the engine version that you're going to be using. So 426 or 427, right? So we can say 427. So then where is the actual plugins folder for 427 located? Now mine's in a very unique place because it's my computer, but yours should be in that location that we'd mentioned prior where we're just on that website. So I can go ahead and navigate to said location. And once we're inside the version number, we want to go into the engine folder. And then inside the engine folder, we're going to go to the plugins folder and select that and then choose select folder right here. Okay, so that's where the plugin is located. Now it's going to ask us what project we want to be exporting this stuff from bridge into. So we'll go ahead and open up this one. And this is really just the project that you want to be working on. So that could be anywhere. I don't know where you keep yours. I do keep mine in a very specific location again. So I'll go to that location. And I'm going to go ahead and use the Unreal Learning Kit Games project. So I'm going to open up that folder. I'm going to select the content folder. Okay, make sure you select the content folder. And again, we want to go ahead and select said folder, right? So now this is all ready to go. So next, let's take a look and see what's actually happened inside of the Unreal Engine. Now, at this point, you want to make sure the Unreal Engine is totally closed. Okay, and it should upload and put all of the uh, plugins in there ready to go. Right. Mine already says it's installed, so it's already done the thing. Um, it should just do it automatically. If it doesn't, uh, you can always come up here to see if anything needs to be set up. And of course, there's always the help up here as well. So once this plugin has already installed, we're going to go back to the Unreal Engine. I'm going to show you what it looks like over there now. Now here inside of Unreal, if it hasn't actually automatically loaded, just come up here to your settings, go to plugins, and then do a search for mega scans. Actually, Mega will give it to you. We'll go ahead and say enabled. And then you'll get a little message down here at the bottom that says, hey, you need to actually restart that. So I'm just going to go ahead and restart that now, and I'll be back as soon as it's done. So that only takes a couple of seconds, maybe a minute at most. I can close that down, and I can go ahead and close this plugins now. I don't need this. And you will see that we have a little icon up here that says Mega Scans. If you click on this, you'll actually get a couple of really cool options. Uh, we don't necessarily need these for importing things in uh, from the Mega Scans, but this is really nice for creating really cool materials. I do have a video on that on my site if you guys want to check that out or on my YouTube channel. Um, so now let's go ahead and bring something over in from Bridge. So to do that, we're going to go back over to Bridge 
and we've got this all set up. So let's go ahead and let's choose something that I've already got set up and ready to go. Actually, let's not. Let's go from the very beginning. So we up to home. Let's go to 3D assets. I'm just going to choose the first thing that we come across. So balcony. Yay. Oh, I've already got that one downloaded. One moment. Let's go into the beams. Okay. So this beam, um, I do not have it downloaded. I can see that because of the icon up here at the top right. And all I need to do is just make sure that this one is selected. And then down here in the bottom, the very, very bottom, we can say download. Now I'm gonna do something that's really, really, really important. So <gasps> look over here. <laughs> this right here is the resolution at which the textures are going to become in. 8K is ridiculously high. You will need this if you're doing virtual production. If you are not doing virtual production, you don't want 8K. So I'm gonna go ahead and just change this down to 2K. That will help out a lot. And I'm gonna go ahead and just click the download button. Now it's gonna take a minute. It's actually gonna download it onto this local machine. You see there's a little icon, it's doing what it needs to do. Perfect, that's good to go. And then I need to go ahead and click the next little button down here in the bottom right. And it's kind of covered up, but it actually says export down here. So I'll go ahead and just click that. And you'll notice over in the top right, it's exporting. It says, yay, it's exported successfully. So if I go back over to Unreal, I'll say, hey, we have a message log, no smoothing group information on the FBX. Don't worry about that. That's actually not that big of a deal. Uh, it's just because it's scan data and you can pretty much ignore it at this point. So you will now have, we go down to our content browser, you'll have a mega scans folder. Inside of here, we have the 3D assets and you can see this is that concrete building. So if I go inside of that folder, we have the texture, we have the object, we have the material, and then we have a roughness texture as well. Now, all I need to do is just drag this in and boom, now I have a mega scans asset inside of my world. And it really is that simple. All you gotta do is just keep exporting things over. They'll always show up in this mega scans. Uh, you'll get different folders down here underneath, whether it's a 3D asset, whether it's a material, whether it's a texture, uh, whether it's a decal. So you'll have a couple of different ones that live underneath your mega scans. But this is it. This is all you need to do to get things up and running inside of Unreal using the mega scans.